the Super Bowl. I know, mm. I know y'all watched it. I know y'all checked it out. I know y'all are excited about talking about it. What are some of your takeaways? You know, does this make Patrick Mahomes the GOAT? Because for me, I just got to tell you, let me just sprinkle this on y'all before y'all get going with what y'all are thinking. It was Spags that won that game. It was uh-huh. Spags' defense that stole the show. And I think that all <laughs> of the saying? Mahomes talk – I know he had some some great stats. The stat lines would say that his stats did what he was supposed to do, and and at the end of the game, of course, he delivered. But let's be clear. Both defenses showed up to that game, and both defenses played a hell of a game. They got tired, and it was going to come down to who had uh, the better weapon on or weapons on offense, and it turned out to be Mahomes and the, the Kansas City Chiefs. But I, if there was an MVP award to be given out, it should have been given to the defensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. My guy. That's my take on it. That's my take on it. Y'all can have it. Go ahead. Y'all run with it. Man, I, I really wish, like, soon after the game ends that we can just go on air and give our opinion because there's so many opinions throughout the week that take place. But I'll say this. That defense for the Chiefs played outstanding. That defense pretty much carried them the entirety of the season. But what I will say is this. I, I, I believe Shanahan blew that game offensively. Mm. And and you can fire Steve Wilkes. Defense played very, very, very well in the Super Bowl, minus mm-hmm. some few calls, but those few calls were critical. Patrick Mahomes throws an interception. You get the ball, I believe, on a 47-yard line. Mm-hmm. You pass, 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 punt. Run the ball. Run the ball. You run the ball, you're probably going to get a field goal. Mm. And, and, and it's – Three double-digit leads in the Super Bowl, and he's lost all three as a coordinator and now as a head coach twice. And, and so there comes a point in time it's oh, there's this narrative that I can't win the big game. Well, we've won big games to get to the big game. But the last I checked, the Super Bowl is the big game. That is the big game. There's important games that lead up to the big game, but there aren't big games. They're important games. The Super Bowl is the big game. And, and so – they're, they're, they're human beings. You know, they, they, they feel the pressure in the, oh, we have to make the right call, the perfect call, the right play. And, and I just felt like Shanahan threw the ball a bit too much, and he got back to the run midway in the fourth quarter. And it but, worked. And it worked. And so it, it, makes, and it makes me say, why didn't you do this at the outset of the third quarter? As soon as the second half starts, he didn't do it. I'll go to a couple calls with Steve Wilkes on the defensive side of the ball. You guys remember Valdez Scatling caught he catches that hitch yep. and then he loses like four or five yards. Yep. All right. It was second and fifteen. Steve Wilkes goes with a cover zero. I could see that. Everybody's off eight, nine yards, and everybody's hugged up. So you got a secondary back and you got everybody else hugged up in the line of scrimmage. Clear cover zero. Patrick Mahomes throws it, they get seven, eight yards. Now it's third and seven or eight. Same exact defense, same exact look, they get a first down. I'm like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? You're just giving them. It was second and 15. At there were some bad calls now. There were some bad – Wilkes made some, mm-hmm. some questionable calls. I, and then I, when I, Shanahan – you remember when Shanahan called that timeout? Yep. It was, the yeah. same, it was the same look, and it was cover zero. He covered his mouth up, but you could see it in his eyes. He was pissed. And he you really going to call this – you really going to call this cover zero again? Really? Forced me to use a timeout? He called a timeout. They came out, so out that timeout. They weren't in cover zero anymore. They and, and so, first down, but they went man. And they went. First down. Yes, but it was. But you, defense, hired, you, you hired DC to do a job. Man. You got to let him do his job. But right. he had, you bring him out the booth in the middle of the season because they weren't playing well. I will say this, though. Steve Wilkes, the defense didn't play well the entirety of the playoffs in the Run that game. Is, that is you, you let you let Green Bay they gash you. They were good you. during the regular season. Though. Good during the re- Green Bay gash you on Top the ground. Top ten during the Detroit regular season. Detroit gashed you on the ground. But in the Super Bowl, the defense played well. And then the last mistake I felt they made. I don't care what anybody says. Um, you can't tell me they knew the uh, overtime rules. You can't tell me they knew them. Nobody in their right mind will say, "Hey." We want the ball because we're worried about the second overtime. It made what? sense to me. It made LeVar, sense to me. LeVar, every coach you've ever played for has always told us the same thing. Stop let's him. worry. No. Let's worry about this play. Yeah, let's worry him. about this game. Yeah. 
Yeah. What, what, what are you worried about the next play in the next game for? <sighs> what are you right. worried about the second overtime for? He's are you kidding the me? Third. The third one, right? Or no, the, the second, second overtime. Second overtime. What yeah. are you worried about the, the second overtime? Position. Yeah. How often do we see games going to a second overtime? Are you really serious that you're going to say you were worried about the second overtime? No, you weren't. You guys got confused with the rules, so you took the ball. And if he says that, it's as if he wasn't prepared. Dang. Say it with your chest. I'm Man. just saying, who? You know, LeVar, nobody does that. Oh, I was worried about the second overtime, huh? Dang. Since when are we worried about the second overtime and not the overtime we're about to play? Dang. What you think, Stretch? Man, you know what? Uh, I'm going to dig into it a little deeper, man. And, and, and You know and, what? You and, know what? Into the particulars. Let's do this because you're going to dig into it. Let's take a quick break. And we're going to take this to the other side of the break. And we're going to keep this conversation going because you know what? You brought up Kyle Shanahan making mistakes. So, mm-hmm. I mean, let's, let's, let's touch on that. You know, Steve Wilkes, was he scapegoated? Is Kyle Shanahan to blame? Um, he made – some questionable calls. He got a little pass heavy, and he has a bad record in the Super Bowl as a coordinator and as a head coach. Uh, Steve Wilkes, <clears throat> he gets fired, who is obviously the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. But it sounds as though maybe some of this blame should be leaning and falling on the head guy. You go ahead and take it. What you got, Plex? No, I'm going to dig into a little bit deeper, man. Okay. Um, everybody knows what happened to Steve Wilkes, and I think he did a, a a phenomenal job coaching his defense during this game. But you know what? I'm going to stick the pin in Nick Bosa. Oh. Because I can't believe. He didn't play CBR technique on, on one of the biggest plays nope. of the game. Twice. On some of the comments yeah. that he had after this football game, saying that the zone read got us a couple times. And he also said, we could have been more prepared. Mm. We have to know in crucial situations who's going to have the ball. And obviously, it's him. The last time I checked, when the call comes in as a player, you execute that play to the best of your ability. What do you mean the zone read got you a couple of times? Your, re- your job is to read the keys CBR. and find the football. CBR. You are a cutback boot reverse player, y'all. If you play defense out there and you don't know what CBR is, you need to learn it. And if I'm speaking the line, it's exactly. CBR. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm speaking from the offensive player side of the football to your language. Yeah. The last time I checked is you read your keys and you find the football. That's right. Don't. After the football game said, we could have been more prepared. What? We're talking about physical football at the line of scrimmage, seeing the ball, chase ball, follow ball, whatever y'all are doing defensive side. See ball, Don't get put ball. that on Steel Wilk. Don't put that on Steve Wilkes. See ball, get ball. You can't do that. And from an all-pro defensive end, you are arguably the best player at your position. For you to take that stance on your defensive coordinator, Mm. it doesn't matter if it was after the game or the day day after the game. Man, I just lost respect for you. Mm. Mm. As a player in this business and in this league, you are all pro professional football player. And you're going to put that on a defensive defensive coordinator Mm. saying that you you are unprepared? Mm. Come on, Nick Bosa. Come on, Nick Bosa. Listen, I, I've been on the stage. I understand it. But that right there is that unacceptable. It. That ain't it. And you got that man fired. 